All right, so the next thing we're going to do is put the sweep around the edge of our curtain wall. You can see over here in our 3D view, if I go to realistic, we have a curtain wall that's going around there. And what we want to do is place a sweep around the edge of it that is two angles. So at the top and the bottom of this curtain wall are two steel angles that hold it in place. So we're just going to go in and place these guys in there. All right, so let me minimize that. The quickest way to do this is with a component model in place. You could try to do a mullion, you could try to do a beam, um, but because we want it to go cleanly around the corner, really the quickest way to do that is component model in place. And that's kind of for one-offs and unique situations, which I think that this is. So I'm going to go to my architecture tab. I'm going to go to component and model in place. And it's going to ask me to categorize what I'm modeling. And I'm going to use structural framing for this. Click OK. And I'll name it CW Profile. Oops. And click OK. Now it's giving me an option to do different modeling <coughs> types. And I want to do a sweep. So we're going to draw a rectangle and sweep a profile around it. So if I click on Sweep, right? I am going to go to sketch path. So I'm going to sketch a rectangle around there. And before I do that, I want to set my work plane and make sure that my work plane is current to level two. So if I go to set here, I can come in and it's on level one right now and I want it to be on level two. So I want to make sure we could, you can rehost it later, but it's easier, you know, to have it in the right place to start with. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to come in and select rectangle. And I'm going to come and draw a rectangle around the outside of this curtain wall that we made. And if I go in and select that, you should see it appear right here in your view in 3D. And once you get that in place, you can lock it to the glass walls if you want to. Um, we're not, I'm not having you constrain anything right now since we're just beginning until you really understand what those constraints do. So once you get that in, you can hit check. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in a profile the first time, and then I'm going to show you how to load an existing profile to use. So to draw in the profile, we're going to now select Edit Profile. And because I'm in the floor plan, it wants me in a view where I can see the profile. So I'm just going to hit Cancel here. And I'm going to left click on my 3D view and go to Edit Profile. And now it'll let me edit that profile because I am in a view in which I can see the plane that Revit has created for me to create that profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click here at the intersection and just draw up, let's say, 50 over 5 and let's go down 45. You know, we could go make it even, go 50 again and, and down and close that profile. Looks like I made one of them 55. If you want to be really picky, you can come in and select that. No, nope, it's, it's 50. Oh, OK, so it would be 50 plus the 5. I get it. Um, so once you get the profile, that closed profile, you can actually hit check. And then if you hit check, it will sweep that profile around that entire bottom. Right. And so <clears throat> once you have that, you can come in and create a material parameter for it. So I'm going to left click on, while the profile is selected, I'm going to left click on this box and I'm going to go to new parameter. And we are going to create a type parameter and we're going to call it profile mat. And click OK and click OK and then hit the big green check. And now out in our view, you can see we have this sweep going all the way around the edge. Okay, so for the next installment, I'm going to show you how to do a sweep with a profile um, that's already created based on a structural section. Now, if you want to continue doing, you know, the profile model in place and drawing them in, you would just go in and continue to draw those angles in. Um, but we're going to take a look at how to do it with a um, and a pre-existing profile in the next one.